Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. It is the 5th, it's the 4th of January and I'm in major holiday mode as you can probably tell. I've just been at the beach and tomorrow I am hosting my first dinner party of the year which is an Italian summer themed dinner party. I actually had an idea a few months ago that I wanted to do for 2024 and it is every month of the year I'm hosting a new dinner party with a new group of friends um, with a different theme. I can be really creative with the menus that I write up and the just like the tablescapes that I do and all that sort of stuff. So this is the first one with um, a good group of friends. I'm so excited and yeah I just thought I'll walk you through all the different steps and all the different stages of how I host a dinner party what goes into it there's a bit more cooking involved in this one i know with one of my previous ones the gingerbread making um night was amazing but i didn't really cook so i thought that to give you a bit more insight on what goes on and how you guys can do it for your own friends um you can watch this video and hopefully it will help you and give you some inspiration um maybe for your planning your organizing or your tablescapes or your menu or all of it or whatever it is so yeah i I'm just sitting down and I've just been organizing with my Google Drive folder and my Notion, which I use to plan my dinner parties. I put so much information in them. I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. And then I'm also ordering my groceries on Woolworths Online and I'll pick them up tomorrow morning, the day of the event. It's a bit late. Usually I would get them today, the day before and like do some prep, but I'm on holiday mode and I, I, I have no energy to do that. I've just been at the beach all day what will happen will happen. I'm very blase. It's the 4th of December. It's the 4th of January. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited and yeah, hope you enjoy. As I mentioned, I have a Notion and a Google Drive board and I put everything, like every last detail of information that you could possibly think of, I put into these folders so that I don't forget anything. Um, this is my Notion and I have like the theme, the date, and I also created a Pinterest mood board that I will link in the bottom of this YouTube video in the description um, where all of my ideas for this night, I just like pretty much brain dumped into this Pinterest board. And I'm gonna do so with all of my dinner parties. So you can have a look at all of them on my Pinterest. Um, and then that's just there for me to refer to like when I need a reminder, like for instance, I came up with the Italian summer themed idea probably about a month ago. So when I come up with that idea, I was feeling really creative and I put all the ideas into the Pinterest board. And when it's now, you know, when the event is actually happening, I can go into that board and see what I was thinking and get back in those vibes, if you get what I'm saying. And then I've got like my requirements for socials. That's just like what I want to achieve through hosting this. Like what things that I want to film. Um, I've got menu ideas. I have a playlist, which I'll also link that I've created on Spotify. Um, and then I've got little, you know, to-do lists of things that I need to do. And yeah, and then over here, I've just ordered my Woolworths direct order. I find this really handy because I can make my menu and make my grocery list. And then I've got the Woolworths here and I can just shop as I need to. Um, so I've created that. And I'm picking it up tomorrow at 7 a.m. I'm really excited. Tomorrow's going to be a big day cooking. Tomorrow morning I'll check in and we can just spend the day together and you can just see what goes on, see how I prepare the house, see me cooking. I'm going to be cooking for a long time tomorrow. But anyway, it'll be so good. And I'll see you in the morning. By the way, guys, I feel like you're going to ask my nails, little lemons on them. I got them done at a Mary studio. If you're a Newcastle girl, or guy that likes getting their nails done. This is stunning. I go to Alyssa and she nailed this. It was a few weeks ago now. They're a little bit grown out, but how cute are those lemons? Good morning. It is Friday, the day of the event, and it is nine o'clock. I have just been for a bike ride and now I'm heading down to Woolies to pick up the click and collect. So let's go and then we can get into the kitchen. So I'm about to get started on the lemon sorbet and someone's in my way. Someone's in your way on the table? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been to different. Well, I'm going to start setting the table in a moment. 
Thank you. Lemon sorbet. Not a whole heap of groceries, which is really nice. I feel like Italian is really easy to, to pull off. So we've got a lemon and I'm gonna cut a third off the top like that. And then I'm gonna cut a tiny bit off the bottom so that it stands up straight. Like that, I guess. We'll try again. That's probably a bit better. Just a tiny bit off the bottom. Keep all the top bits because we're gonna put them on top when we're serving them. You just wanna get like a little knife. You can slowly chip away at getting what's inside the lemon out um, and just put it to the side. So just while I make the filling, I've scooped out all the lemon and I'm just popping them in this container and I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer for 45 minutes while I do the rest. So I'll just put the little lids on top and we'll put the Put them in an airtight container in the freezer for, yeah, as long as you can, but I'm just, cause I'm sort of doing this all last minute. I'll just pop it in while I'm making the filling. Um, so yeah. I have blended my lemon sorbet and my mascarpone, 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 and I'm just gonna pour it in to the lemon casings and pop them back in the freezer. I'll pop the tops here so they can just freeze for serving. And I'm popping these back in the freezer. So an update, I've had like a little mini meltdown because my tablecloths have all shrunk. I made sure to wash them on a cold wash after we use them. They've all shrunk and none of them fit my table. Anyway, so Sam's gone down to get me some tablecloths while I tidy the house. I'm gonna put some flowers in the vases ready to set the table for when he comes back which I'm very grateful for that he's done. So, yeah. So cute and the table is ready to be set. Another little hot tip that I have is these little Canva menu cards that I designed. Actually, this is a template that I found on Canva, actually. You can adjust it to the color theme that you want, which is what I did. And then add in your menu items. So I don't actually have these printed off today because it being the 5th of January, my print place is shut. So I'm just going without them today, but I thought they were really cute. And this is just a little example of what you can do um, for your dinner party. Another tip is that I used ChatGPT to find the hex that would, I think it's the hex, is that what it's called? The color um, for Italian summer. So I literally just searched in ChatGPT what is an appropriate hex that would, a hex color scheme that would suit an Italian summer themed dinner party. And it came up with the, the blue, the yellow and the orange and gave me the exact right color that I needed. So that's a good tip as well. table is pretty much set. I've got some of the food laid out, some olives. The kitchen's a bit of a mess. I've done the salads. That's put aside because it's got no parmesan in it for one of my girlfriends who's vegan. And then the fish is ready to be put in the oven. Yum. It looks so good. I'm just going to finish a few little things. I'm going to prep the stuff for the pasta. I'm doing like a vodka pasta. Vodka pasta. Yum. Hi. I am so happy with how this has turned out. The tablescape is gorgeous. A bit creasy, but anyway, got to do what you got to do. And I'm just waiting for everyone to arrive. I'll go and get ready in a minute. Her time. The kitchen is kitchening. Hair is done. Stunning. And the dress is on. I rented this dress from The Vault, which is a dress hire company 
they're like my go-to for any event that I have. They like have all really good brands and a really good range of sizes. So I rented this. This is the Zimmerman dress and it's stunning. I think it's very on theme for Italian summer. And that's the vibe. And we're gonna go out and enjoy the night. And I'll show you the food.